Welcome to Linda's Creative Coiling. Tying on or adding a new thread is an essential step when you're making every pine needle basket. There are different methods to use in different situations. I have several videos outlining these methods and showing how to do them. I hope you'll watch them all. Thanks. Hello. This demonstration is showing how to tie on a new thread using the hidden knot method. This is one of my favorite methods and it's the one I probably use the most often. I'm at the end of my row, I'm right back at my starting point and I'm ready to change colors. Plus I have a short thread, but since I wanna change colors, it's a good time to tie on a new thread. What I'm gonna do is pull off a length couple yards of my new color. I'm going to over wax it with my beeswax. You can get beeswax at farmers markets or if you can't find any there you can even buy a little beeswax votive candle and use that as your wax. I like to work with two darning needles. I'm gonna leave my old thread with the darning needle attached, and I'm gonna take a second darning needle and use that to tie on the new thread. So I flatten my thread a little bit, hold it between my thumb and index finger, and lower the hole of the needle right down onto the thread. I needle the thread. right down on there. Okay, I tie a double knot in the end of my thread and I make sure that those two knots are right exactly on top of each other. And then I pull that tight. Pull it tight. <clears throat> what I want to do is trim that tail off so that all that's left is about a sixteenth of an inch. I don't like to work with a basket where there are miscellaneous threads sticking out that I have to go back and fix later. So I like to do it all as I go. This hidden knot method accomplishes that. So you can see right here where my old thread is coming out. What I wanna do is turn my basket over and I wanna pick a spot somewhere down a row or two and across a thread. So I'm going across a thread and I'm gonna go in to the spot. I'm gonna go in there, the spot that I've chosen, and I'm gonna come out in the front. Sometimes you have to poke around a little bit. Poke around to get that thread right exactly where the old thread is. And I don't want to split that thread. There, that's better. I come out right next to where that thread is. Come out right there. Then I can pull that knot, pull on it until it disappears up into that coil. And it, you can Sometimes you have to pull hard, but you can pull it up until it completely disappears up in there. You don't want to pull so hard that you pull it through. All right, next, I like to take about three stitches with my new thread, and I'm not sure why I do this. It just makes me feel better to leave my old thread on there. So I turn my basket over. I go in on the left. I come out on the right. My old thread's still on there. And I take my stitch. I'll do two more. Go in on the left. Come out on the right. I'm about a third of the way down my coil where I'm piercing my pine needles, about a third of the way down. And I pull that tight, 
pull my stitches tight. You always want to keep your stitches tight and your gauge full. That way your coils will be a consistent uh, diameter and your basket will be very tight and solid. Okay, there's my third stitch. Now I can comfortably get rid of my old thread. So it had come out on the right hand side of my stitch there. What I want to do is cross over that thread. So I'm going to go in on the left hand side and I'm going to come out on the back somewhere down and across a bunch of threads. So you can see right there, I'm crossing over quite a few threads and down a couple rows. And I'm gonna have to get out my pliers to do that. Get out my pliers and pull that through and pull it tight. Okay, now I can use my scissors and pull real taut on that thread and just snip that off. Snip. And it disappears up into the coil. Now I have no dangling threads. I have my new thread to work with and a simple method to tie on using the hidden knot method. Thanks for watching. Come back soon. Hi, I'm Linda. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can click the subscribe button and ring the bell, and that way you'll be notified next time I post a new video. Hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot.